curse words, and sarcasm were used in the making of this video. Hello, Janie from Salty Car Creation sharing with you today my Cluck Yes Dance Set Series Card 4. I'm bringing this one over from my Inky and Scrappy channel so I can swear a little bit. So this one is using the authentic, I think it's authentic, but I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that one or not. Um, yeah, I, I got nothing. Anyways, I loved this pattern paper chicken pattern paper. Oh, it was just, yeah, it was like all that in a bag of chips. So I grabbed that one because that was my, you know, inspiration for the card. Well, okay, that was the basis of the card. I wanted that one as my background. And then, of course, I was bringing in this gorgeous wood grain pattern paper. Don't worry, I fuck it up and have to go and search for something else. Of course, I'm also going to bring in a Polaroid die. I think the Polaroid die is from MFT. I don't know if they still carry it or not, but there are some out there if you're looking for one. It's it's a nice staple to have because, you know, it makes a nice focal point. I'm also bringing in Ink Road Stamps Salty Background. So I think it's Salty Text Background. Salty. Mm, I'll list it down below if you're interested. I'm pretty sure it is still in stock in the store. So if there's stuff on Ink Road that you want, make sure to go check it out and grab what you want because she's changing things up and she's not going to be doing restocks anymore just because it's you know, expensive to have things sit on your shelf or on the wall. And yeah, when you're a small business, I totally understand it. So if there's something you want, make sure to go and grab it. Wednesdays, it's free stamp Wednesday. So if you buy enough, you get a free stamp set. So, <clears throat> you know, one of your choosing. Just, just, you know, just an FYI. Go do it. So I stamped it. It didn't come out the first time and it shifted a little bit and I didn't realize it shifted a little bit. And of course, I was all out, so I did have to dig out some other 6x6 wood grain pattern paper. I want to say it's probably from Hobby Lobby. I don't know. I got it from Nanny Alice, so it is what it is. It's older, um, but I, I want to say it's probably that one. But I wanted to go with the lighter one because I wanted the red to pop. So on my other video, I kind of joked and I said I had a chicken story for you. So my this card is for my little sister whose birthday is at the end of april and so she calls me the other week and she's like um is tj turbo dirty so my brother passed away back in november of 2022 and i ended up buying he had a, a car and so i ended up buying the car because his wife didn't want to drive it and so i bought it because it was just like mine just newer and so she's like, it's TJ Turbo Dirty. Of course I named my car. Doesn't everybody name their car? Anyways, if you do, drop me a comment of what it is. And, you know, my husband laughs at me because I always name my car. Anyways, TJ Turbo. She's like, is TJ Turbo Dirty? I'm like, yeah, TJ Turbo is stupid dirty. Like, I even thought about it when I drove by the car wash today, but it was negative. I was like eight, eight degrees out, and I was like, I'm not doing it. Just not happening today. So she's like, well... She went to see a medium, and the medium's first, that was the first thing out of the medium's mouth. Your sister bought your brother's car, and is dirty. He's mad. He's going to mess with her radio, which has not been, had not been working very good. And so, if she wants her radio to work, she needs to go and wash TJ Turbo. And then, something about, if she, she takes care, she takes care of, she takes care of animals, and she's going to have some issues until she gets to do trouble washed with these animals, like being assholes. And so, yeah. That night, I went to the chicken pen to pen up my chickens. And all of a sudden, a chicken gets out. Like, they usually don't get out when I go to feed them. They're really, usually very well behaved. And so this one decided to get sneak out. So it snuck out and it's like running around inside of the barn. So it's not, you know, it's cold out. So they're not outside yet. So it's running around the inside of the barn. And usually I can catch them like nobody's business. Like just pick them up and go. Well, it literally made a fool of me for 20 freaking minutes. I finally was like, Thomas, I just can't right now. I'm tired. I don't have time for this. I will wash your car as soon as I have time. Like, as soon as I get to town and it is not 8 degrees, I will wash your freaking car. And then the chicken runs back in the coop. Yeah. No, no comment. None. None at all. That's 
yeah, it was what it was. Mm -hmm. yeah. So back to my card here. <laughs> I did stack my die cut. So I cut it four times from white scrap cardstock. I have a stash of white scrapped cardstock. So I run, well, if I do layered die cuts, that's usually what I grab. And then, of course, I did an ivory color to go with that background chicken pattern. And I was hoping that I didn't mess this one up. Huh, because, you know, it happens. Of course, I got the back of the die cut already dirty, so I couldn't even just flip it and call it good. But I did make it work. So I'm using that aged mahogany distress oxiding. It works fairly well for stamping, especially if you leave your block sit for a little bit. The ink kind of absorbs a little bit better. I should probably do that with my platforms a little bit more than I do, but I don't worry about it because, you know, you can just re-ink and re-stamp usually, so it's not a big deal. But if you're block stamping, that's kind of my hot tip is to leave it sit there. Somebody else had shared that and it really works very well. Of course, not wiggling it while it's sitting there works well too. So I popped that behind the frame on the bottom and I wanted the head to kind of look like it's popping out. And so I added a foam square on, on the top part. And so it's not all the way popped up. It's like got that bend. So it kind of looks like the chicken head is coming out of the Polaroid image. Now at this point, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm going to add it to my background. Blah, blah, blah. Somebody forgot she'd already cut the piece of paper that she wanted to go behind because I wanted, you know, yeah, I wanted a piece of pattern paper different behind here than my words. Yeah. So I popped it down and then I realized, eh, sitting right there, dork. So I went and I grabbed my pattern paper that was already cut and ready to go. Pop that onto the back. Then I added some more glue because the glue I added uh, dried. And then I popped that back into place onto my card front. Now I had thought about like centering it and leaving the fluent in foul language as my sentiment on the front. And I changed my mind. Yeah. So I, you know, I knew this one was going to be my sister's birthday card at this point because all of the F-bombs that were dropped constantly. So I did bring in the Fuck Yeah Redo Redo stamp set from Ink Road Stamps. So I was originally going to go with the Fuck just because it fit on that piece of paper, but I really liked the Fuck Yeah. So I went with the Fuck Yeah and centered that over the top. Now I could have masked off the side so I wouldn't, didn't have to worry about the little swirlies, but because I was putting it in the stamp platform, I wasn't overly concerned with it not stamping perfect the first time, I'm bringing in the VersaFine Onyx Black again because that usually gives me a good impression the first time. So it did, I just didn't get enough pressure on those side points because they're a little bit further down than the top. So I did end up stamping it one more time just to get those little swirlies onto the card base or the card front, I guess. And then I'm bringing in the glaze embossing pen to add some glossy black to its eyes. I might go in after the fact now, after I've looked at my other ones with the glossy accents on their eyes and how much it pops, I might end up doing that instead. So, you know, it's bound to happen. I switch cards up after I'm done all the time. Yeah. So I am adding in three little dots here. I'm bringing in Trinity Stamps Black Licorice Play hearts, and I'm just adding the three, you know, our love of foul language. So, you know, I had to put the three little hearts in there. And then for my card base, I'm going to stamp that before I add my card front. I was on top of things this time. Now, I did leave that fuck yes stamp in my card positioner or my stamp positioner here. This new one I really like with the open top and the open bottom. I kind of did a quick, you know, product review on Inky and Scrappy. This one was new to me. I was looking for something that was, um, how shall we say, a little bit friendlier than the Tim Holtz one and the Misty one on the price front. And so this one is like 30 bucks. It comes from Belgium. And I really like the open top, bottom, and side. So, you know, it doesn't always work with everything, but it works well for especially this size 
card front or you know card base because I don't have to worry about it bending or things you know not working in that respect so if you're looking for one it's I like it I also like the little magnet holder thingies those are freaking awesome so I will pop that onto my card base here and then my card is complete so it's your birthday fuck yeah I hope you enjoyed this episode fluent in foul language and uh, check out the other cards in this stamp set series there's a bunch of clean and simple with this one and some fun ones so keep staying salty my friends over and out bye <laughs>